Slavers. I'm literally in a nest of slavers and I can hear them moving around upstairs. They've invited me to come up and join them. I've been having a think, playing with a shotgun, getting the pistol ready, getting myself kind of psyched up for this. I would be, it would be absurd of me to trust them at this point. They hit me over the head, two of them down there tried to kill me. I barely kind of got out of this with my life. So we need to be very, very skeptical and careful of anything we've seen. Looks like they've turned the lights on. Okay. Okay, I know where I am, and I need to stop saying okay, but that is where I came in, and that is where I walked up, and that is where I got knocked out. So decision time, Tess. We either go up, meet them, take them on, see what they want, or we run. <sighs> For our life. I don't think we can take any risks. They know we're dangerous now, and I think I just heard a blade. I'm almost certain I just heard a blade. I think the best thing to do is get the hell out. I mean, we read on the logs down there. Even if they had, even if the slaves they got were prisoners, that's not what happened to me. I'm not a prisoner. I'm not a criminal. I'm the opposite of a criminal. I'm a lawyer. I think the best thing to do is make a run for the door. Just get out. I haven't got time to pick up anything. Just go. Oh, wait, no, there was that, there was that, there was that gun on the side. Do you remember the, the, the like, machine gun thing? Try and grab that en route. But other than that, just gonna get out. Okay, I don't know if that girl saw me or not. God, there she is, there she is, there she is. Just gonna go, just gonna go. There's the gun that I saw. Looks like they're doing some body work in there, but it's weird. They know I'm here. This is the weird thing. They know they're because they just spoke to me. Am I sure this is the right thing to do? What am I saying? Of course this is the right thing to do. They're freaking, they try to enslave me. I'd be insane to walk up that, oh, to walk up that staircase. Okay, be careful. I'm just going to duck down in case they've got something out here. Yeah, you. I'm talking oh. to you. What the heck? Day. Who's there's someone sitting up there? I ain't got all day. I'm not gonna go out there. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I don't care if you're talking to me, I'm not going out there. I'm not going out in the open. It was stupid, stupid to come in in that first place. It's that bloody Wait, girl over there. Trap me to go in there. But no one's seeing us talking. I guess that guy's seen me. If he was going to take a shot on me, then he would have taken a shot on me. What do you want? And where's dog meat? Yeah, you. Oh, dog meat's you. just standing in the middle of the road. Jesus. God, I can't believe I came down into Concord. It was just a stupid thing to do. What do you want? What do you want? I'm dangerous. You know, don't don't try anything. Okay, okay, what, what? What do you want? What do you want? See us talking. Look, I don't want to step out into the open because they might. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Okay, yeah, I'm here. What do you want? Hey, easy, keep your head down, yeah. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, son of a you know bitch! I was done? trying to do that. God, I just got just, just soaked myself. And hear me out. What? I got a proposition for you. I need you to kill all the douchebag raiders ahead of me. Well, they're what? preoccupied killing those dumbass settlers in their white night. They just almost you slaved me. Why? I got my reasons. You gotta do that anyway if you want to get that sweet ass suit of power armor I can see on the roof. Keep it. Power armor? And I'll pay caps on top of that. Plus more to come if you get the job done. You may have to kill the settlers and the goody goody. They don't matter though. Kill them if they're in your way or leave them. Up I am. You. Personally, I just off them. Come back to me when you're done. A suit of power armor. My god, that would be amazing. The, the, the guy that lived opposite me, uh, Nate, he just, I once saw him in his power armor. He did like a march pass. I mean, it's like, a, it's literally a walking tank. 
I mean, I'm claustrophobic as hell, so we, I don't know if I could be able to get in the thing, but that would be amazing. Gosh, look at these sandbags. God, there's a dead raider there. It'd be really risky going down to get it. Right, the biggest mistake I've made so far is trusting anything that anyone said. So I'm just going to back away from him before he changes his mind. I'm going to get my dog. Goodness knows why I didn't take the dog in with me in the first place. The dog would have been like, hey, there's someone behind you who's trying to kill you. And that would have made everything so much better. Right, you come in with me. You're coming with me. That's right. That's right. We're getting the hell out of here. And we are going to try and forget that we almost became a slave. And I think it might just be time to go back to Abinathy's and harvest potatoes for the rest of our life. I mean, why not? I mean, that, I mean, it might be a crappy existence, but you know what? It's an existence, and it's better than becoming one of those guys with the slave collar on who doesn't, but just spends their entire time bent over in a pair of stocks. I mean, could you imagine that? Do you think about what that guy was saying, though? Power armor. Do you think that was a joke? Do you think that was just a way of luring me in? And where was that freaking girl? You know, the little one that was like, oh, go help my friend. Piece of crap. Clear liar. Clearly lying. Okay, Abernathy's is just over here behind Red Rocket. We've got to think, no matter my personal misgivings on the whole situation, And I don't want to take up farming, but I would rather be an alive farmer than a dead, naked lawyer in my pants like that guy over there. This place is so dangerous. The woods over there that I went through where you got attacked by those mole rats things and those dogs, and there were just raiders everywhere. I mean, God, the raiders! The raiders, the slavers, those weird, like, ghoul things with the machine guns, the spiders. I mean, what am I thinking? Why on earth did I leave Abernathy's in the first place? I should have just stayed there, said, hey, give me a job. I'll do whatever you want. You know, they, they were like, oh, hey, go get that locket thing. You know, I'm not an assassin. Sure, I once went to the gun club. whoop de freaking do That doesn't make me an assassin for hire. And even that guy there saying, go get the power armor. I went to the gun club, I'm reasonably skillful, I'm bright, I'm intelligent, sure, but gun for hire? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god, speaking of gun for hire! Go, 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 go! Oh god! See, this is exactly why I should never have left Abernathy's, because there's a whole army of people here, and a turret! Um, and. And what the hell is that? Okay. It's... The hell? It's got a pistol. A laser pistol. The pit boy is telling me it's a synth. My god. There's another pistol. The weird thing was there, I tried to go like all zen, but nothing happened. I'm not surprised after the day I had. Uh, hi, I, I'm, I'm here to become a farmer. You could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. You know what? The caps would be great, but actually it's the bed for the night. I just like to live here and not die. Again, you should mention the whole caps thing. Hang on, do me a favor. Just explain the whole caps thing. Like, why do we trade caps rather than actual, you know, money? Yeah, like bottle caps? And because it's money? Well, at least it's... it is here in the Commonwealth. Okay, so you guys pay for things with bottle caps. What happened to, like, dollars and cents and banknotes and credit? I loved credit. Credit was that great. Stuff? Not too useful these days, unless you're looking to stack up your outhouse. Uh... No, no, no. I mean, I have, I have used banknotes as toilet paper before, but that was after a very wild party. 
Okay, so what what are you paying for? Three caps per melon. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Three caps per melon. Uh, well, hang on, well, well, I mean, my melon picking skills don't come cheap, you know. Make it five, yeah? Deal. But let's keep it between the two of us. Absolutely. The last thing I want is another lecture from my mom. Absolutely. This keep this whole melon situation on the down low. So where, where exactly do I pick the melons? Okay, apparently she's had enough of speak, speaking to me. Ah! Melons! Okay, there's a melon. There's a melon. Uh, hang on, hang on. I, I'm, I'm harvesting that melon. Hang on, let me get this one. Nope, nope. Apparently can't. Harvesting melons. It's all right. Uh, okay, there's no more melons around. I, I could harvest some other stuff too. Got a potato. Got another potato. Some of these weird purple swollen fruit things. What probably looked like a carrot. And and this wasn't here before. What the heck is this? Nuka Cola. Obviously, Nuka Cola. So this is one of the. This is a dodgem. And that's. Oh my god, it's a corpse. It's a dead raider corpse. The frick? The frick is going wrong with you guys? Is this what you do to raiders? Understandable if they've killed your daughter, but still? Using them as like a home ornament? I mean, it's not like a pot plant, is it? You can't be using dead corpses as decorations. It's kind of a little bit morally repugnant. Right. <laughs> Let's pick a melon. There we go. I mean, that's another five caps. Uh, so, I've I've got some melons. Here to collect the caps for the melons you gathered? I absolutely am. I absolutely am. Here they are. Take the melons. Thanks for your help. 25 caps. I've never felt so wealthy. Never felt so wealthy. So, what can I spend these caps on? Now, I had a... Ch uh, yeah, this is... I believe this is Connie. She was one of the ones that threw me out, uh, saying... Well, she, she called me some rude names. Oh, yes, and she had the baseball bat as well. Hello, hello, hello. I've got I caps. You trade? Uh, you, I, I would, I would. What have you got? It ain't a lot, but I've got a few basic supplies. Ammo, meds, that sort of thing. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, you'd think on a farm you'd have produce, not ammo, ammo and meds. I mean, I thought you'd be selling, you know, melons, potatoes. Potatoes and melons are for the larger trade up in Diamond City. Not uh. to mention our own table. So, still interested? Uh, I mean, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll always look at what you got. Okay, so we've got some, got some drugs. Okay, I need to stay away from the drugs since my experiences. Uh, and look, they've got a suit. Oh, they've got some of these combat stalker death tag things. Microscope. Uh, I mean, it could be handy, but doubtful. Uh, cigarettes. A few weapons. Cram. Ah, like some real proper like goods. Concrete, fertilizer, leather, wood. You know, back in the day, I used to have a bit of a kind of a thing for jet. It wasn't, it wasn't called jet by then. And and legend says that you make it literally out of poo. And I can't remember what the other thing is, but you you, you can... <laughs> basically, I discovered after taking it for a while that you're basically putting crap up your nose. Um, so, oh, good Jesus, look, this pistol costs 214. So to buy that, I would have to harvest like... 25 melons and if I want some cram that would be 11 melons this pork and beans though that's a bargain that's only five melons well oh, that's good so I've got 309 caps from all of my exploration so far she's got some modifications that we can do to guns okay so so okay well now we know the kinds of things that we can buy we know the kinds of costs we're going to have to harvest a lot of melons if we really want to buy anything or, you know, get some kind of crafting gears to upgrade our room. I wonder which room is mine. I guess I can kind of take any free one. This one seems to be free, but it looks looks pretty crap, I'll be honest. This one possibly needs some work on the walls, plus it's been claimed by this lady. Hi, I'm new here. I'm the Melon Harvester. It's like the Pumpkin King, but, like, it's lower. 
on the hierarchy for now. But you wait. One day, I'll, one day I will be the Melon King. Okay, this guy seems to be working here. So he's growing gourds. I can, I can, I can harvest this. I can harvest this. Yeah, no worries, no worries. There you go. I've harvested some gourds. Which I guess I've, I don't want to take too many because, well, because other people I guess are harvesting it as well. There's a bar. My God, I would love it if this bar was open. Hello, I'm here for the alcohol, although I would need to work out the melon to beer ratio. God, this place is a dump. I mean, honestly, it's a dump. It's two pieces of corrugated iron, a few planks of wood, a broken chest of drawers, what can only be described as a heavily soiled mattress, and I'm pretty sure that was dirty even before the bombs fell, and, ugh, and kind of crazy people, to be honest. I mean, what, is this, what does this guy think he's doing? Is he like a doctor or something? Scientist? He's staring at a pole. Oh God, he's one of those ghoul things. This place is messed up. It's, 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 uh, but okay, stay, stay sensible. Stay sensible. Okay, this is where we're going to be living for the rest of our lives. So we might as well, we might as well learn to love it. Okay, what about in here? Government property, property no trespassing. Do not enter. Stay back. Keep out. <laughs> well, well, I can see why they wanted to keep that under wraps. Well, that, that does make a... I can see there's some very is, secret things going on, uh, on on in this side. It's like that trick where you take off a pair of sunglasses and you've got another pair of sunglasses underneath. Holy... Okay, okay, okay. That's a little bit more screwed up than I thought. God, this place, I guess that was another, I guess that's where they keep to keep the raiders. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a potato, there's a carrot. I guess that's where they, you know, that's where they, that's where they, that's where you, that's where you keep the raiders and the, 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 the robot bodies. Have you ever noticed that junk in some places comes back? Creepy. Uh, sure, sure, maybe, that's, there they are. I thought they'd clean them up already. I mean, they, I guess they could add them to the dead raider collection. All right. Okay. Well, uh, we could uh, make some make some mac and cheese out of the carrots and the razor grain. That's kind of like old pre-war style, like a taste of home. Home. I haven't been home yet. <sighs> I could make some vegetable soup out of the carrot and the potato. Why not? There we go. A nice broth. Vegetable soup, and I guess that's it. We just. Thanks for agreeing to help. You're you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for giving me a a bonus couple of caps per melon. Well, uh, looks like we just wait for the melons to grow, and uh, and that's it. Well, okay, well, I guess we... There's no point standing around and waiting for the melons to grow. We might as well at least sit down and wait for the melons to grow. Uh, uh, next to this two-headed cow. And, uh, and, this, and this is it. Guns away. No, that didn't work. Oh, hello. Hi. Guns away. Oh, I thought that would have been more effective than it was. Hang on, I... It's always responded to me in the past. Uh, let me see if I can fix this. Uh, the Pip Boy has this kind of voice activation thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, uh, guns away! Guns away! Guns away! Nope! Nope! Doesn't work. Doesn't work! Pip Boy's broken! <sighs> I guess I could fix that while I sit here and wait for the weapons to melons to grow. I could even lay down uh, while I'm kind of doing it. All this. Cow could join in with the cow. We could do it like a duet thing. <sighs> this is it. This is it. This is the life. This is better than being in court. Better than, you know, all those high profile cases I used to take. All that purposeful life existence. No, no, no. The life of a farmer now. Maybe after I've been here a few months or years. Hello, boy. Well, after a few months of years, they'll let me chop up the raiders as well. What do you think? 
No? Okay. Stop giving me that disappointed look. Clearly I'm not going to stay out there with the dangerous stuff. I almost got turned into a slave. While you were standing around in the road licking your own bollocks, I nearly had a slave collar put on me. I had to kill someone with a wrench. A wrench. Look, let's make a poem about melons. I once lived a life harvesting melons. It was a great life. It was just like heaven. And when it was done, I saw I'd become a worthless piece of shit that sits on a farm. God, I'm bored. Okay, I'm fine. I admit it. I'm bored. I could, I could get into astrology. You know, we could look at the stars and and the moon and and, and things like that, and and everyone will be like, "Wow, Tess, you're so good at." Telling the future from star signs. I, I, I could even make up new ones, because I, I bet these guys can't even read, because there's probably not very many newspapers around. We could make up, like, weird star signs based on celebrities from, like, the year 2000 or something like that. We could call we could call that one Timberlakeus Maximusis or something like that. And that could, that could be the uh, Diapus Trumpus. And uh, that one could be in the, uh, the Joesque Bidenescus Oldus or something like that. Don't, don't give me that look. It's just you repulsed by it. These are cool names. Have any of these melons grown yet? No, no none of the melons grow. I know you're whimpering, but what's the alternative? What's the alternative? Go to Concord, get shot. Yeah? Get turned into a slave. I could go after the power armor. You know how that guy should go after the power armor? You should fight your way through. Fight your way through. I can't even seem to go zen anymore. Let's try it. Okay, let's go zen. Ah, okay, there we go. Kind of zen. And you know the thing that really used to help me go zen? <laughs> Jet. It's true. It was great. It was great. Until all the rehabilitation, obviously. And the... You know, the issues that came with that. But, you know, if all we're doing is sitting around, why not get back into drugs? Yeah, fine, I, I'm, I'm yawning too. And it would appear that even the cow is sitting down with me. Brilliant. Wow, there it is. A life laying down on a patch of mud, staring up a double-headed cow's backside, writing poetry about melons. Don't give that look. Do you have an alternative? I mean, the only, there's only three places we can safely get to. Concord, not safe. Here, safe. Or we could go back to my house. Or we could try and find the bunker of the, the, the brigadier. We could go and find the brigadier's bunker. There's an alternative. Doesn't feel like a good idea, though, does it? Oh, God. Look. Okay. Uh, this is the... Oh, now, you lay, now you're laying down. Brilliant. When I get up, you lay down. Brilliant. Fine. Well, you watch the melons, okay? It's your job to watch the melons. This is the decision, isn't it? I stay here, literally, on the, in the mud waiting for melons to grow, or we risk death. Where's the dog gone? Look, I gave you one job, which was watching the melons. Okay, fine, what, you're watching the potatoes. Fine, fine, fine. If we go out there, we are literally gonna risk dying. Every second, every day. But there was a military bunker back at Con uh, in Sanctuary. There was my home. We might be able to find some stuff. Ugh. It's getting pretty late, though. Well, look. We've worked for a day's bedding. So let's, let's at least earn that. It's... What time is it? It's 10 p.m. Let's get. She got out again. Oh, oh no! She's well, she's she's right in front of you. 
God, these people are crazy. Is this what is this what happens if you just got to look at them? They're just just standing around. They've got nothing to do other than watch melon growing. He's standing. She's sitting. He's got a kind of a cool shoulder thing, but that's it. He's standing around. Oh my God! What a waste of life. And now I'm a part of it. Now I am a part of it. Ow, oh, I got hit myself in the face with a goddamn door. Son of a bitch. Okay. I can't live like this. We'll get we'll get some sleep. And in the morning. We'll head to Sanctuary. Try and scope out the Brigadier's house. See if we can find some equipment in, in, in Nora and Nate's and maybe see if there's anything left of mine. It's a difficult night's sleep, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. And yet here it is. Wow. Apparently people just sneak into bed with you. Couldn't you have left, left, at least left your flesh on if you were going to get in bed? That sentence didn't work. Couldn't you at least left your... F oh, God. I was making a skin joke. It didn't work. I know. Stop whimpering. Oh, good, good. It's nice and foggy. Although, to be honest, maybe that's helpful. Maybe that is helpful. I'll be less likely to be seen within the first ten seconds and die horribly screaming. Don't die horribly screaming. Don't die... It's like the gates to Jurassic Park, this. It's like it's like a decision wall. You know, if we go out this door... Hey, hey, Blake, I, I, I haven't got the locket yet. Uh, you know, this is, this is it. If I go out there, I'm... An adventurer! A gun for hire! Or I could stay here and spend another day laying down by the melons. And the chicken. Okay, I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't do that again. I can't do that again. Okay, so we use the fog. We'll sneak. Okay, maybe not sneak that sneakily. We've got, we've still got some stuff in Red Rocket. I, I left some guns there. I've got some equipment there. Uh, I am actually carrying quite a lot. Could probably dump some stuff there. The main thing that seems to be weighing me down is this large, large bits of armor I've got. Oh, and... Oh, and, and you know what? It's that assault rifle. It's that big assault rifle. Jesus, the weight of it's 13. 13! Oh, and the pistols. They're heavy. Okay. We'll drop them off at Red Rocket. We'll see what we've got some ammo for. Strip ourselves down, and then we'll head home. It's going to be emotional going home, though. I don't, I'm not really kind of like an emotional kind of a girl. I mean, there was a reason I didn't go straight back home. A, because it was completely direct. But B, could you imagine going back to a house that you used to live in to find it's 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 a post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland? God, that sounds like a tagline for a game or something, doesn't it? But that, that's going to be the reality. All of the neighbors that I knew, they're not going to be there. The kids, gone. The... The people, just not there anymore. All right, we can dump off the fusion cells. Sure, these synth component things. I could probably refill the beer bottle with some glass. Uh, various notes and things. That probably doesn't really matter. I, I did find uh, some hats, but if I ever do get a chance to say, you know what I should have done is put some of the, uh, I probably should have put that hat on when I was trying to get uh, the sail out of that chick bag over there. Well, I haven't got any ammo for this Institute pistol, apart well, from the fusion cells. I haven't got anything for this assault rifle, so despite my amazing little bit of uh, uh, jiggery-pokery uh, of selling, I didn't really make a good deal. Okay. Heading back home. 
Let's put some music on. It'll make me feel better if I'm heading home. How about a nice bit of classical tunes to make me feel... You know, that it'll all be fine. Something like Hymn to Joy, or... The 1812 well, Overture, or something. Oh god, we're gonna come back across that naked guy, naked dead guy. Which is literally my metaphorical, literal thing of reminding me of what could happen to me out here. I could end up like this guy! And I don't want to end up like this guy. Oh good, there's a nice harp going on in the radio now. That's a nice way of reminding me that everything one day could be fine. One day, about 250 years ago, the bombs hadn't yet dropped and everything was fine. But now, it's a crap hole! But at least this is my crap hole. Welcome home, Tess. Now, the toilets are on the outside. You finally got that conservatory roof you always wanted. This was the noble's place. Or was that the noble's place? Can't remember. That was almost definitely the Joneses. But I'll be honest, it kind of looks different now because it's smashed to hell. And there's some bottle caps. Before I would have said, look, there's some trash. Now I'll say, hey, hey, finance. I'm probably not gonna find much in that place. Okay, so I lived in this lovely yellow house. I chose the color. Uh, I, I, li I liked the kind of the penthouse aspect. Oh, it, it, it acknowledged that I've gone home. That's nice of the Pip-Boy. Must, must have read my DNA or something else invasive to know that this is my place. And uh, this is it. It's kind of, it's more flickery than I remember, I'll be honest. Because it looks like someone's been in here. Yes, they must have done. Look, I this isn't my stuff. I never used to have all these bits and bobs. That's my typewriter! I wrote a court affidavit on that. I'll keep that, thank you very much. Plus, it's got fiberglass and stuff in it. Oh, adhesive. I could stick another bit of leather to another bit of leather. Oh, in fact, there is a... There's a load of crafting stuff here. Why is there a load of crafting stuff here? Has someone moved into my house? I don't know. You step into a vault for 200 years, and if someone else thinks they can treat it as their own. That's my sofa! And this is not my chair! How dare they. This was my kitchen. I liked it because it led directly into the living area. And I always did say that I wished you could see more into the living area. And behold, my wish has been granted. A used oil can. That is actually my oil can, except I used to keep it up there. Some bugger has emptied my fridge. Oh, 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 I can hear something terrifying. Oh, the dog's going crazy. Oh, it's a kid. It's a huge thing. Oh, it's a robot. Hang on, that's... That's their robot. Everyone okay? Hello? As I live and breathe. Oh, it's... It's, it's really it, you. It's me. It's you. Yeah... Uh, you were their robot, and I don't remember your name. It was like, it, it, uh, I'm sorry, who are you supposed to be again? I can't remember. It was like I Coxworth or something. Well, Mum, call me Codsworth, if you please. Codsworth, Codsworth, that was it, absolutely. Well, I mean, uh, well, you, you did well there. Thank you for taking out the old, uh, the old, the old bug, you know. A robot like you, bound to be able to, you know, take care of things around here. I never imagined our reunion to be like this. Please allow me to serve by your side. It's the least I can do. What? Would you like to? I mean, you want to... I mean, I mean I'm not your owner, but do you want to? As you wish, Mum. Oh. Well, uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Come along. Come, come along. Let's do it. Right behind you, Mum. Oh, the wind's picking up. Well, I mean, this music is appropriate. Now I have this gun, this covered in blood dog, and this robot with a buzzsaw. Together, we are unstoppable. That's probably not true. 
I think we're, we're going to be completely buggered unless we can find something good in the Brigadier's place. Would your old owner be really, really upset if I went and checked out their place for stuff? Because I know he used to be an old military guy. That okay? Just going to pop on in there. Technically, I'm reading their mail, but I'm all right with it. They're probably not going to need it now. Yeah, I remember. It was the second night I moved in. Nora and Nate invited me over. We sat on this sofa, and we made small talk. And I was terrible at it. I made a... Oh, there's an episode of Grognak. I love a bit of Grognat. I haven't read this one. Jungle of the Rat Babies. Well, if we end back at a, end up back at Abernathy's, I'm sure the decades will literally fly by. A coffee tin. I was never really into coffee. Always more about the uh, kind of the hardcore chemicals for me, to be honest. But that that was in the past, literally. A salt shaker, pepper mill. Oh, we could a little small baby bottle. Oh, that poor kid. The poor kid was the, were, it was these guys the kid that was taken from from the vault bread cranberry juice cake laundry bleach dish syrup get more sugar bombs and nuka cola they always did have a sweet tooth didn't they codsworth codsworth coxworth something like that uh, i feel like i'm just going through their stuff i mean i am going through their stuff so yeah, there's some fuel here could be handy. Ah, we've got some Braxo cleaner. It's important to be looking good when you're in the wasteland. God, this is that kid's room. <sighs> if I do ever get in a situation of traveling around this wasteland feeling slightly less paranoid, I would like to find out what happened to their kid. Not that I'm going to do some all guns blazing rescue or anything like that. That's not really my style, but... He was a cute little kid. He was a cute little kid. His name was... Sean? I think it was Sean. You can't eat him, though. Because he's like a baby and he's human and stuff. Look at that. He's one of, here's one of his old books. Here's one of his old books. There we go. <clears throat> Out of his old books. That was quite perceptive of me to spot that down there. <sighs> oh, God. Hang on. Something's, something's going squidge, squidge, squidge. Did you hear the squidge? I heard the squidge. I think something just went around the back of that house. Oh, look. There, there, there. there. Oh, there, 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 these, these freaking flies. Line it up. Channel the gun club. Remember the gun club. Woo! It was a good gun club. Oh, he's firing back. These bounders. Ah, oh, I just exploded that one all over the dog. Not my intention. Yeesh. Well, there is breakfast. There's another one over there. All right, team. We feeling brave? Dog meets up for it. We're going to kill the small harmless fly. Nope, I'm gonna miss the small, I'm gonna shoot the robot in the back of the head. Sorry about the, the ding there. Oh, yep, you've, you've got a nick, you have got a nick. And that fly had a lighter. Wow, in fact you can see it, he's covered in oil. <laughs> oh, be careful, those things will kill you. I mean, I suppose it wouldn't help if I pretended someone else shot you. I mean, I'm literally the only one with a gun out here. What? I should make comments like that, because then you'll get raiders who will just come and will murder me, and then I will be sad. I will be a naked raider. I never went in this house. In fact, I don't even think I ever met the people that lived there, but I know they had some kids, and apparently they liked Halloween, and I can hear something buzzing. Okay, right, okay, come on, come on now, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Come on, come on, you're in the freaking way. The thing seems to be coming from both sides. Oh, that thing is freaking huge! Oh god! Ah! Oh, Jeez! Oh, go Zen, go Zen, go Zen, come on. Come on, channel your inner non religious denomination Zen nature. You can do this. Television. Well, the radio stations are working. Are the TV networks? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. But here is something. Some asbestos. I thought it looked more like a cigarette packet, but apparently the Pip-Boy thinks it is some things. Oh, this is safe. Maybe whoever lived here left me millions. They left me some 
Weaponry. Ooh, that's a load of bullets. Two pistols! For him! For her! They did leave me some money. And a fancy hairbrush. Well, it's important to look good out here. Do I need more pistols? I mean, I could sell the pistols if I could find someone to sell them to. I could sell them to that, uh, Abernathy girl. Might be worth grabbing them. You know what, let's seal the safe back up and we'll remember that it's here. Speaking of looking good in the wasteland, check me out! No, none of this is working. None of this is working. All of these kind of things should be quite dramatically doing dramatic things. Let's just give this... Oh, uh, Pip-Boy just kind of bleeped. Don't know why. See if I can sort out the Pip-Boy here and then give it a go and twitch this bit and press this. And then we should find... Check me out. Ha-ha, there we are. And we can see that I am ready to explore and to become this new life. Do I look like a melon farmer? Yes, I do. I do look like someone that, that basically just looks, looks out for melons. But the sunglasses betrays a steely glint in my eye. Something that says I will amount to more than someone that lives amongst lots of barrels and puts their head on a pillow. Although, I guess that's an alternative bed. If I need a free bed, there's a rug and a pillow and a blood-covered dog. Are you farting on that chair? I'm just going to sit on that. But this clearly isn't the Brigadier's hat house. The Brigadier's house was... Let me see. That one? Or that one? It was one of them. An empty mailbox. This house belonged to... Well, I guess it doesn't matter now because it's no longer even a house. This pile of rubble <laughs> belonged to the Smiths. No. The tenants? No. The bakers? No. I don't know. Doesn't matter. They're dead. They are dead. Doesn't matter. Can't even tell from the mail. Uh, well, also, the Brigadier's house is pretty wrecked, but he told me he had a bunker. He told me he had a bunker. So, I guess we need to kind of explore and find it. I assumed it would be in the back garden of his house. Oh, but there's a dog kennel. Hey, you want to go in the dog kennel? Not you, obviously. You don't fit in the dog kennel. Maybe this wasn't the Brigadier's house. He told me it was in the garden. Oh, God, I'm standing on graves. I'm standing... I'm literally standing on graves. I am so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's get out of here. I have committed a big social faux pas, although you're literally stuck in their house, dude. What are you doing? Get out of there. Maybe the Brigadier lives here. Did the Brigadier live here? It's seriously going down the rabbit hole now, Alice. I wouldn't know. I never went in the Brigadier's bedroom. It wasn't that kind of a relationship. Aha! A bunker. But more importantly, breakfast. Why is the dog barking? You okay? You're okay? Okay, everyone's okay. Right, I want you to stay here. Nothing would please me more. Protect us. Keep us safe. I'm going in to the root cellar. And we're in. Wow, he really did have a bunker all set up in case the bombs dropped. Jesus, you look even worse in the light. That is some terrible clipping going on there. Like, I'm not even sure if that's supposed to be blood, genuinely. But hey, we got ourselves a bunker. We could, well, we could stay here for the rest of our lives instead. Isn't this better than melon farming? It's like our own room. I could set up a, like a little kind of console here, maybe like one of those kind of like VR headset things. If I had electricity, I might have electricity. I guess it depends where these wires go. Hey, I wonder if you guys have seen this kind of stuff. Ah, oh, Telsian loves us still going. Hey guys, I found a military bunker. Apparently he's found a death claw. No, he hasn't found a death claw. No, they're having death claw casserole. That's so cool. I'm having 
uh, whatever the Brigadier had. I'm having some cloth. Some fancy lad snack cakes from about 80 years ago. What are death claws? Death claws are big, nasty creatures. I've never seen one live. Hmm. Crystals lost in the fog. You gotta be careful, Crystal. They're literally there's slavers out there. There's literally slavers out there. Yeah, yeah, a military bunker. Uh Well, he starts shoot it's a military bunker. He's a brigadier, although now I'm looking around, it's mainly seems to be a food bunker. Ooh! And some gold! Gold! Like literal gold! Oh my god! This is the most exciting thing I've seen. Although I guess... Oh, no, no. I take it all back. Cheese. I found cheese. Telsey Crystal loves. I found cheese. My God, I've missed cheese so much. I know it's been like four days, but if I had to come up with things, I've missed huge amounts. Probably my ex-boyfriend, my parents, but at the top would probably be cheese. I'm taking the money because old habits start to die hard. <sighs> Oh, there's two cheeses. Two cheeses. Two cheeses. There's a safe, right? I cannot open this safe. I don't think I can pick this. Uh, there's no way I could pick this. I won't be able to pick this. It looks really strong. Well, we've got some purified water. I've got classical music playing. I've got a black and white dog. We could reenact the Dalmatians or something like that. What I don't know. Duct tape, nice. A fuse, some scissors, and a radio. Radio. Oh, hang on, let's see if I can let's see if I can shoot it in. No, no, not 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 this radio. This radio. West Tech Command Radio. Nope, 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 nope. That's, I screwed that up. What does it do? The West Tech Command Radio allows you to request different types of support and, and reinforcements. Oh my goodness. Reinforcements? Okay, that's who I can contact. No one. Oh. Thought for a minute there I might be able to you know, get some get some troops or something, you know. I mean, let's be realistic, I can't stay in here. It's a hovel. I mean there's some aluminium and a Salisbury steak. What have I got here? Supplies for a week, a week and a half? I mean, that said, that said, all of that put to one side. It is a place to stay. It's a place to sleep. It's a place where I can, I should be safe, especially if I put you outside of it, my little chum. Oh, maybe the radio didn't work because I was down there. Hang on, let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, anyone out there? Hmm. Okay, there's there's a bunch of channels which don't seem to be available right now. Uh, hello? Oh, hang on. Okay, so the Pip Boys burst into life with this. Uh, it's, it seems to have interacted with the radio, and it's telling me I can hire some mercenaries or request supplies. That would be amazing. Okay. Uh, a couple of troops. Okay, it, it looks like it charges things. So I could either hire a, a, a rifleman for 250, or I could get one, two, or three engineers. But I think this is, I assume this is the amount I have to pay them per day. So this isn't cheap. Because it looks like they're willing to, they're willing to come and help, according to the radio, according to the pit boy. What do you think, guys? Is it better to get kind of two grunts, or one that's a little more, you know, super duper? Two. We'll get two. We'll get two. I guess that sent out some kind of signal, and uh, we just wait for them to arrive, and then decide what we're going to do. Well, I mean, for argument's sake, for argument's sake, 
if we actually have some troops, and by troops I mean hired thugs, hang on, hang on, hang on, Jesus! I have. Who are you? Engaging hostile. Good risk. Who are you? It's my troops. Are you my troops? Are you my troops? Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Okay, hi. Hi, I'm the one that radioed you. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Tess. I'm Tess. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your mercenary style demeanor. Let's 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 talk a little bit. Okay, so you're telling me about your personal skill set. That's that's nice. Okay, well well if you Okay, well, well, let's think strategies then. Okay, so, so, so you can be, um, you can kind of, uh, like, you can focus on doing like kind of quick damage, you know, like bam, bam, bang, bam, bang, bam, bang, yeah. And so we'll we'll get you some sort of kind of like automatic rifle or something like that, and then that can like be your, that can be like your thing. Okay, what's 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 your uh, what else can you do? Oh, what did what did you say your name was? You said your name was... <laughs> you said your name was Buck! Did you? Well, it's nice to meet you, Buck. Uh, we will need to try and find you an automatic weapon, though, if that's your thing, because that, that's clearly not an automatic weapon. That's, you know... Uh... Oh, no, it's an automatic pistol. I stand corrected. You do have an automatic weapon. How, how about you? What, what's your, like, you know, thing? You know, do, what, what do you do? You're more of a rifleman. That's interesting. I could probably help you out with that. I can probably help you out with that. And have you worked with Buck before? Is that your like your thing? And your name is <laughs> Your name is Khan. Your name is Khan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Khan. I will scream out your name whenever possible. Well, look at us. Look at we look a family. You know, we got we got we got whatever you said your name was, Buck and Khan and Dick Meat and and Coxworth. It's 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 awesome. Okay. Well, well, I don't want to get. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't didn't mean to fire that. I was just trying to get my gun out. Well, I've got my little rifle. You've got your crappy pistol. Let's go to Concord. I've got a bit of confidence now especially since if these guys charge 100 uh, caps a day then i'm gonna have to get some caps i'm gonna need to find some stuff to sell because otherwise i'm gonna need uh 100 and then 20 20 and then 20 otherwise i'm gonna need 40 melons before tomorrow to be able to afford you guys again so so we better go and get 40 melons worth of stuff Hey guys, hey guys, 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 I, I just managed to hire some mercenaries. It's, obviously they're not doing it for the moral goodness, they're doing it for cold, hard bottle caps. Oh, that, sounds, that sounds so weird. Back in my industry, back in court, you know, people would say like, thousand dollars. And then of course it wouldn't be a thousand dollars, it'd be a thousand dollars for the initial free appointment. And then you know, it'd be thousands on top of that. These guys are doing it for a handful of bottle caps. Quite a big handful of bottle caps, has to be said. And, uh, okay, wish me luck. I'm going back into Concord. Um, oh, Nessie's checked in. Oh, good to see you, Nessie. Good to see you, Nessie. And Telsey's happy about the cheese. We're all very happy about the cheese. Hey, maybe later you guys can sit around and we, you can watch me eat the cheese. I assume you charge extra for that, but... Don't know if you're into that kind of kinky thing. Don't act like you've never paid for cheese before. Oh, but I actually have a rifle that I can give you, uh, Khan. So I, I think I put it in, in the old reg rocket, and I might even have some ammo for it. My little red rocket. Well, now, I mean, basically, I've got an empire already. Military bunker. Wrecked garage. It's everything a girl from the 20th, 21st century could want. To be really uh, right, so here we go. It's a uh, 
I haven't got any ammo for this thing, so it's not going to help him at the moment. But I will kind of give it to right. So I can give you the the bolt action rifle and a, and a bowler hat. Yes, I think we could probably give one of you a bowler hat. Seems to, it, it feels appropriate. Okay, so I'll need to give him the three oh eight to to go with that. Maybe we give one of them a shotgun as well. What happened to my shotgun? I seem to have lost my shotgun. Did you take my shotgun? Hi, it's Khan, isn't it? You're the one that I made, that, that you made good at doing this. So you can take three of my bullets. I want you to really make them last, okay? And then you can take this weapon. Hard hat, bowler hat, uh, sniper in a sniper in a hat. Yes, no. Okay, you should, so you can have that, and then you can use that, and you can keep me alive. Okay, deal. Love it, beautiful. And you can. I don't have anything for you. I just realised I, I I'm giving out gifts. I'm like Santa. I'm like Sandra, I'm going round, and... I don't know, I probably have got something for you. I could give you some... I can give you some ammo. You've only got 14 ammo. There we go, there we go. See, I, I'm, I, can, I can still be Santa if only I knew where the various buttons were. So you can have this. Maybe we could get you guys outfits as well. I mean, I mean green was so, uh, you know, 2,100, you know? Okay, good. So he's got some ammo. Brilliant! Cool. Hello. You've got yourself a thing. So now everyone's got a gift. Except Coxworth, who I left back there. Yeah, we'll give Coxworth the bowler hat or something. Okay, right. I'm kind of chatting because I'm kind of nervous because I am actually heading into Coxworth. So this is it. This is what we're going to do. We've got a team. We've got a team. We've got Buck. We've got Khan. We've got dog meat. We've got this gun. And we're going to head into a raider-infested town. We know there's slavers. We know there's a guy that likes to sit on roofs. But with this team, nothing can stop us. And if it does stop us, we can always spend our entire lives writing poetry while sitting next to a cow. Off we go.